Good morning, it's Jonathan Barrett with the Morning Debrief. Uh, it's uh, Friday, May the 7th, current time is 7.18. Um, what can we say? Ouch! A big movement on the Dow last night and uh, uh, quite a little bit of skullduggery going on uh, according to some of the traders. Uh, the Dow obviously uh, down at one stage close to 1,000 points. Uh, now we are hearing rumours that um, uh, we're hearing rumours that that there could a lot of that move was as, as a result of a punch error by a trading folk, uh, particularly in Procter Gamble. Procter Gamble dropped close to 47% at one stage. So if that's true, this is going to represent a very very interesting market. Now prior to what we feel was the problem, the Dow was actually down only 3%. It closed down about that 3%. However. If that's the case, then um, the market in itself could be relatively good value if, in fact, that contagion in Greece doesn't spread. What we've seen is, <coughs> excuse me, concerns in Greece, a weakness in the Dow, followed by a trading error, and then all of a sudden the whole market capitulates. The fact that it's come back suggests, in my mind, that there are some good opportunities to look at. But before we go into that, let's just have a quick look at the, um, the how the market closed. Okay, here's the Dow. The Dow's down 347 points. Look at this. It traded down here on the back of this area. Now, this occurred, uh, well, this is what we're suspecting anyway. Uh, this occurred within the last, or within five minutes. It dropped close to, you know, four or 500 points. Now, we feel that's as a result of that trade error. As a result of that, we saw a contagion spread through the market as other program sellers jumped on the bandwagon and started to sell it as well. The result is a very quick move until you get the circuit breakers in. And uh, once it happened, we've now seen restoration. And as a result of that, you'll probably find that people will look to look for cheap bargains. And you'll probably find that people will start to think, well, hey, look, it doesn't look that bad down here. Maybe this is, this is the correction that we had to have. What it has done from a technical point is we actually have a low in place because of the size of that bounce. Quite interesting, um, but let's see how it unfolds. Okay, the Dow was down, but prior to that, um, prior to that, the let's just go back there. Sorry about that. Prior to that, the Europe was down as well, down about 2.5 percent. FTSE was only down 1.28, and the DAX was down 0.8, and the CAC was down 1.44. So that, in my mind, starting to set itself up with a suggestion that that Greek is looking to the Greek situation is looking to be controlled. There was concern of a contagion. But this program trade really set the cat amongst the pigeons. And as a result of that, things came lower. So I would be very cautious at the moment, particularly because some of these commodities were, uh, came under a lot of pressure. Other commodities went through the roof. Now, this could represent good opportunities, as I've mentioned. So let's, let's go through uh, some of the closes and, um, and see what we come up with. OK, first of all, um, we won't go through the calendar at the moment, um, but there is a lot of data out tonight. Let's look at the dollar index. Dollar index first. As you can see, a large move, um, but we've seen it last last couple of days where that dollar index has uh, really sort of traded onwards and higher. Um, there we are there. Let's get that into perspective a little bit. Good strong move. You would have naturally expect that. Now, if this is a consolidation move, and this is the first leg, then and if contagion continues, then then this is US dollar continues to trade higher. So uh, that's something we've got to be uh, a little bit cautious of. Um, now look at the Aussie. The Aussie had a huge hit. Uh, it's just bouncing back a little bit now, but right down into this area. Um, as you had mentioned in the last couple of reports, we mentioned that if you're an importer, not a bad idea to lock some in. We didn't think it had happened this quickly. However, that's what's happened. Um, have a look at um, there the currency of the euro. Euro has itself has just bounced back a little bit, 126.49. Um, Believe it or not, I, I, without confirming yet, um, as you know, we haven't pulled the trigger on buying it yet. We're still waiting, but uh, perhaps it's not a bad idea just to continue to have a look at it. Gold was the big mover. Gold last night, 12.07, uh, getting close to those highs. Um, I want to see a little bit of follow through here. I want to see uh, just a little bit. Now, it is tough trading these markets because the volatility is there. My advice is always to drop down to a half your normal size, if not a quarter, okay? Now that's, uh, that's gold quite firm there. Have a look at crude oil. Um, you'd notice in the media report we had out uh, the other day, if it broke through 81.50 down, she'd come. It got to 74.80. So uh, that was a, certainly a quick move and quite happy about that result. Uh, copper, we've been short copper for some time, really up, up around here. 
that's looking quite good. However, we did close half our position out last night at 3.10. Not unhappy about that because of the volatility. Um, and uh, I'd probably expect to see maybe it spend a little bit of time around here before we decide what we want to do with it. Um, having a look at the local market, let's have a look at the Dow first because I think that's probably one of the most exciting things at the moment. Um, there we are. Look at that chart. That is phenomenal. Um, okay, it's come back to support down here. Um, now, what happens from here? We wait for the dust to settle. This is a huge move and, and really I've only seen it a few times, um, something like this. Um, 87 was one, uh, September 11 was the other, uh, last year's crash was another one. But uh, the sheer speed of this is something I haven't, I, I, I sort of find is, is remarkable. Okay, so how does that mean, what does that mean to our market? Well, obviously the market will trade lower today. Um, that's what it looked like on the futures and um, it sort of bounced back a lot. So I think there's going to be a lot of, lot of talk about what's to happen. A lot of people are going to think there's good bargains out there. Uh, we should be supported by the mining sector, particularly on gold. That index should hold things up quite nicely. But overall, I think we'll probably live through a volatile panic session uh, today and uh, I'll probably maybe look to do something once the dust has settled on that. Let's have a quick look at the economic calendar. Our uh, most important thing um, uh, we've got is unemployment in the states. Now look at this, the numbers have been good, okay? Um, the, e e the economic numbers have been positive over the last week. I'm looking for a better number and I'm also looking for probably a, a, a movement towards more confidence in the state in terms of economic performances and uh, perhaps there's some good opportunities out there to, to buy some. Um, unemployment rate there in the states, 9.7, non-farm payroll is meant to be up a little bit. PPI in the states, uh, I think that in, uh, in the UK will be very important. Um, we've got Reserve Bank quarterly policy meeting in Australia, or min minutes, but I think that's probably about the major. Major bit of news there is what's happening in the US, so just be careful. Okay, what trades do we have on? Well, um, I'm glad to say we don't have a lot on. Um, it just wasn't that clear, but uh, we have been short copper and long sugar. We lost some sugar last night. Um, that's a, another shift what's happening in the sugar market at the moment. I'm happy that the positions are, are controllable at the moment. Um, we've done very well in copper. I'm very happy about that result. And really, that's probably the only trades we've got on. So uh, I guess uh, let's see how it, how it unfolds. Um, yeah, so very, very interesting, very volatile session. Uh, just remember, measure twice, cut once. That's one of our golden rules of life. And um, I think wait for the dust to settle here. There will be some good bargains out there somewhere, but I think we need to see a little bit more direction. That's about it from me. Hope you have a great day. Good luck in the markets and uh, we'll try and talk to you uh, tomorrow.